Hi, I'm Chris Boehner with FLIR, and I'm here at the SPIE DCS show, and I'm really excited about two brand new cameras. One is the X8500 SC and the X6900 SC long wave SLS cameras. All of these cameras share a common electronics platform which is really exciting. But let's talk first about the SLS long wave detector. SLS long wave is really great because it has excellent uniformity, works in the long wave, uh, much wider temperature bands than the mid wave cooled camera counterparts and also much shorter integration time. So you can stop motion on that high speed thermal event. The X8500 features a resolution of 1280 by 1024 and it streams that out at 100 81 frames per second. The X69 is 640 by 512 at 1004 frames per second. So really fast frame rates uh, for those high speed applications. Now let's talk about the X series platform in and of itself. It has a four position filter wheel with automatic filter recognition. So if you forget what spectral range is for your filter or which position it's in, uh, no problem. The auto filter wheel will recognize it and then in the GUI you'll just have a simple drop down box that lets you select and know which filters in which position. Also the cameras all allow you to record the data directly to the camera FLIR DVIR. So that's RAM buffer that's on there and you can record for up to 36 seconds for the X8500 and 26 seconds for the X6900 with zero drop frames. After we've recorded it, you can stream that out uh, for analysis and playback, or you can save it to the removable SSD drive. Now, the nice thing about the SSD drive is it downloads this in 90 seconds. You're ready for the next shot um, after a minute and a half of, of data download. The other nice thing is I pull this out, I've declassified the system, and it can now take this and do data reduction in the comfort of my office. Also integrated in the camera are uh, three digital data output ports, so we stream the high-speed data out through Gigabit Ethernet, CoExpress, and CameraLink Full simultaneously, so you can be grabbing that through multiple downstream data recording options. We also have all the great features you've come to expect from the high-end FLIR cameras, uh, iRig B, time stamping, sync in, sync out, trigger in, so a lot of different options. We invite you to come down, get hands-on with this camera at the SPIA DCS show, or uh, contact FLIR and get your own live demonstration. Thanks a lot for listening.